Lizard made his cinematic debut in the Sony reboot The Amazing Spider-Man, but to this day, many people wonder what Sam Raimi's version of the character would look like. While actor Dylan Baker played Kurt Connors in Spider-Man 2 and 3, he never had the opportunity to transform into the Lizard before the reboot. This concept art, however, reveals the possibilities. Concept art Constantine Sakaris did these designs in the early stages of Spider-Man 2, back when the villain was considered for the film. In an interview with film sketcher, Sakaris revealed that he never actually met with Sam Raimi to discuss the Lizard, and that this art was meant to get Marvel excited about hiring him on the film. The concepts worked! Sakaris got to work on the film, but the Lizard was cut during the scripting stages, along with another villain considered for it, Black Cat, as seen here from art by James Carson. These two, along with Doc Ock, were meant to be the villains for Spider-Man 2, supposedly in the draft by Al Goff and Miles Miller. It was Michael Chabon in his script who proposed that the film focus solely on Doc Ock as the main supervillain. We wouldn't end up meeting the Lizard or Felicia Hardy until the Amazing Spider-Man reboot. Big thanks to our research assistant Dan for providing the visuals on this. You can support our Patreon at patreon.com slash superhero stuff pod. The $5 tier gets you a weekly show every Friday. This week, we dive into more of the unused concept art for The Amazing Spider-Man. We have about $100 to go to reach our $300 a month goal. Help us reach that goal and we'll celebrate by covering Tim Burton's Superman Lives. And we'll be diving right on in to those tight, tight oh tight, tight 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 red speedos. Plus, if we reach $500 a month, I'm donning the Nick Cage Superman Lives suit for a photo shoot, including those tight red Speedos. You know you want to see that shit. Also, if you're a fan of the Batman 89 comic, check out Nuverse Creative's Batman 89 Shadows, a three-part audio drama adaptation of the previous arc uh, of Batman 89 Shadows, adapted and narrated by myself, which means it contains a few Easter eggs in the narration that aren't in the comic. You can also check out my short story, Shortcut to Happily Ever After, at Metaphoris' magazine. And while the Kickstarter might be over, folks, please go and check out www.metalforce.ninja for all the Metal Force details. It is a film that I'm working on with some friends, and it's basically R-rated Power Rangers meet Stranger Things. Thanks for watching, and as usual, tell all your friends about us.